Hey guys, it's Lady Sin, your pretty pigtailed advocate for chair shots and dirty thoughts, here for another wonderful episode of Wrestlers That Make Me Happy. Episode 6. We're up to 6. So if you haven't watched the previous ones, do that now. I have them in a playlist, but I also have it in the description below. Fun, fun. So for this episode, we are going to be focusing on the one, the only, Mischief. I love Mischief. She's amazing. If you are not familiar with Mischief, it's probably because she would never be got caught dead in anything like WWE, ECW, TNA. Why? Because they're going to dull her character down and they're not going to let her do half of her moves. So Mischief is cool right where she's at. Okay? Don't ever ask her to leave. She's good. She is currently in a Ring of Honor. She is a, um, she's been there since 2005. Uh, she did start uh, with some um, earlier wrestling federations around 2001. Um, so she has been wrestling for that long. Uh, she is currently still in Ring of Honor, uh, still actively wrestling. Um, actually, I scratched that. I think she, is have a, she had a baby recently, or she's going to have a baby. So she's not wrestling right now, but she will again. Um, also a really fun fact, she is a scientist. That's what she does for a living. She is a scientist. And uh, the there are so many reasons that I love this woman. So many. Uh, number one, we share similar taste in hair color, as you will see. Uh, number two, she is brutal as fuck. She's amazing. Um, she kills it. She is a beast in the ring. Um, so not only does she have that brawler style that I absolutely adore, uh, that you know that I absolutely adore by now, um, she's also like exceptionally flexible. Um, she's very, very talented um, in so many different ways, um, but she has some very innovative moves that um, just boggle the mind. Um, so there's definitely a, a huge list of moves that she's just perfected and just wows you every time. So I'm just going to focus on a few. Um, my number one thing with her is her moonsaults are off the chain. She has a standing moonsault that she does, and she also has, you know, her standard moonsault. Uh, both impeccable. Oh, Right, so then we also have uh, the choke slam bomb. Um, <laughs> like this chick is doing choke slams like better than I've ever seen Kane do it. I know, whatever. Um, and she does it with style. She does it with class, and she's just again completely brutal. Missed. Admission connects choke bomb. Also, on top of that, her finishing move, the Desecrator, um, very innovative move. And this is probably one of the ones that she would have to nix out of her lineup of, of moves if she were to go to something like WWE. They don't want to see girls hurting themselves. Um, But, you know, uh, those those moves are kind of like my top. She has a huge set list of things that she can dish out. Um, you know, Code Green. Yes. Wait, code green. Oh. The Obliteration. Both of those are finishers of hers. But, uh, but yeah, so she dishes it out in the ring. So that's number number uno for me. Um, obviously, her style is incredible. Uh, she was bringing the, the brutal, you know, dark, screaming, you know, metal head to the ring way before Paige, way before any of the girls you see now. Um, you know, she, she was the innovator of that. And uh, what's kind of funny to me is that I remember when I first saw Paige, you know, and I'm a Paige fan, so don't even get me wrong there. Um, but when she came out and she kind of hung through ropes and screamed, I was like, Mischief does that. Did you pull that off of mischief? What's going on here? 
So obviously mischief did it first, um, but I'm okay with that. You're lucky I like you, Paige. Um, so uh, the flexibility. This this woman has no spine. <laughs> It's not there. Right now, into a Boston crab she goes. A lot of pressure put on the legs and the back of Mischief right here. A high angle in that Boston crab. It's a long one. Really wrenching down. Look at the bridge by Goway. She's going to snap the back of Mischief. Mischief may have to tap away the title, but look at this. What an escape by Mischief. Yeah, so um, uh, she's she's continuously been one of my favorites. I've watched her um, since 2005, and and I've never been bored. I've never gotten tired of her. She's uh, one of the main women I would love to see more of. Um, but uh, a, a good friend of mine brought up a really good point. He's like, you know, you would not want to see her on the main stage of WWE because she would get a five minute match. She wouldn't get to do any of the cool shit she does in Ring of Honor. And I think she is totally cool with where she's at. So I, I just, I love everything she does. I appreciate everything she does. She is gorgeous. She is incredible. And uh, you guys need to watch her because she is uh, one of the, the wrestlers that make you realize that women can do it just as good as the guys, if not better. And with style. So that's my... Wrestlers That Make Me Happy, Episode 6. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, please let me know in the comments below. Um, like, subscribe, share, do all that good stuff. We only have 10 days left for my t-shirt. So I have a t-shirt campaign going on. It is to support uh, my YouTube career along with keeping food on the table for my kids. Uh, so it's a kind of a twofer. Um, I have 40 more shirts. 40 more to go in 10 days. It's crunch time, guys, so click the link below. Even if you can't donate the full 20 to get a t-shirt, um, I do have a GoFundMe. I will also put in the description. Uh, even a dollar helps. Seriously, at this point, you guys, I just I need to make sure um, my family's taken care of, and it, it's, it's, it's been a struggle. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you so much for your support. All right, guys. Well, keep something in mind. You guys are gorgeous. You're amazing. And if anybody tells you anything different, they can suck it. I love you guys. Mwah.